Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for uh, November the 25th through December the 1st. Oh my God, we're at the end of the year. <laughs> what a year it has been. Wow. Anyway, so welcome guys. If you are new and you are coming here for the first time, I'm so happy that you found me and I really hope you enjoy these readings and that you return. And if you are returning, oh, thank you guys. I really appreciate your loyalty and support of my channel. Uh, now, these readings are for the collective guys. So if you would like a more in-depth personal reading, uh, click on this link here, which will take you to my website you can see the kind of readings that I offer. And remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, they are for your sun, moon, and rising, and all the links to the other videos will be below in the show more section. Sometimes it takes me a minute to put those up, but check them out anyway. I also have a Facebook group, and I'm hoping to do a live feed either, I do it every full moon and every new moon, to every uh, twice a month in that group only. And I, you know, I look at the charts, I look and I see how uh, each sign is um, receiving the energy of the new or the full moon. And then I also have cards and I answer a couple of questions after um, time allowing. And so whoever shows up are the ones that get that um, in the reading. And I probably will do it either Monday or Tuesday Ideally, I'd like to do it Monday, but if I don't have the time, I'll do it Tuesday, which is on the full moon. Um, now, uh, so you it's a private group. You have to go to Facebook. The link to that will be below, and you can just, look, you click on the link because people ask me this all the time. Click on the link, and then you'll take into my Facebook group. You request to get in, and you answer a couple of questions. It's only two questions, and then you get in. Um now, what else? But, oh, another way to support this uh, channel is through Patreon, guys. So um, you can click on this link and check out my Patreon page. I, I uh, post things on Patreon that I don't post anywhere else. And also there's all different tier levels, so you get different rewards for... Um, and I'm working on this project that my patrons will be able to um, access for free. I mean, it, it'll be a charge for everyone else, but I'm working on it. So I, I don't want to say anything right now. <laughs> Maybe I will announce it on the new moon. Okay. So now, uh, lastly, these readings are in three sections. This is the intro. Then there's the uh, astrology report, and then the tarot card section of your reading. And the timestamps to skip each section, it will be below in the show more section. So if you're checking out your sun, moon, rising, you don't want to listen to the astrology section again, then, or the intro, you can go straight to your uh, tarot reading. Um, so without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello and welcome to the astrology report section of your reading. Um, and what an, an incredible celestial sky we have this week. It's very exciting. There is a lot going on, guys. So on Monday, November the 25th, we start with Venus moves into the sign of Capricorn from um, Sagittarius into Capricorn. Now, um, while it was in Sagittarius, it was free-flowing and exciting energy and um, explorative, and then it moved into Capricorn, which is more of a restrictive energy. But actually, this is a really good opportunity to commit um, to a relationship. Perhaps if you're already in a relationship, then it can be a recommitment to that relationship. And if you, if it's new, then maybe you can take it to the next level. And it's also a really good energy to find a lover, you know, to manifest that. Um, so the bonus here is that Venus is still conjunct Jupiter um, and the galactic center right? So this is a wonderful, romantic, passionate energy. Um, so although 
Although uh, Venus is moving away from Jupiter, it's still in that um, range of being, you know, where their energies are melting with each other, melding. So this will go on for, you know, towards the end of the week. So it's a beautiful um, energy. Now on Tuesday, we move into the new moon in Sagittarius. Now the new moon is when both the sun and the moon are together, as opposed to the full moon where they're opposite. So this is an incredible time to do intentions. What do you want? What do you want to change? Now, listen, Sagittarius is an optimistic sign. It's, um, it's adventurous. It's about higher learning. It's, uh, spiritual. This is like an awakening. It's like a, uh, the consciousness awakening right now, because there's a lot of Uranian energy. Uranus is aspecting both the sun and the moon. And that is, you know, Uranus is like sudden happenings. It's like a higher octave of thinking and um, contemplating. It's It will bring in the freedom factor it's like we want to be free of the constraints, you know, it's like breaking free. You know, if you've been stuck or stagnant in any way, this is an opportunity to break free from that. Um, or if you've been feeling the pressures and the stress of everyday, you know, mundane life, this is another chance to break free and do something different. This is about change. It's about Really, you know, you may be shocked at the change uh, that people are making around you, or, or perhaps even yourself. Um, so it's almost like people are making radical changes. Um, so you look, things have been under pressure, right? While it's while we've been going through Scorpio, and now this is like it's coming to a boiling point. It's like the pressure cooker is letting the steam out. So it's almost like. Um, change becomes necessary. So there's an, we have to make changes in some areas of our lives. Um, so it can be like a big sigh of relief, particularly if we're proactive and we are making those changes voluntarily. Um, now on Wednesday, Neptune is stationing, ready to go direct. So this is a really uh, amplification of the qualities of Neptune. So Neptune is about intuition. It's about idealism, um, creativity, spirituality, interdimensional energies, you know, um, energies that lie beyond uh, this physical realm, this 3D uh, realm that we're on. So it heightens psychic and intuitive ab abilities. Um, so it it's also sensitizes us uh, to our environment and others' energy. We pick up on everybody's energy. We're extremely sensitive at this time. Neptune can take us on a journey of fantasy or even stress and anxiety. So whatever we focus on will dominate our feelings and sense of well-being. Therefore, it's imperative that we are that we reach for a better feeling thought, as Esther and Jerry Hicks always say for the you know law of attraction, reach for a better feeling thought. Don't go down the rabbit hole because Neptune will drag, take your hand and drag you further down. <laughs> um, you want Neptune to bring you up to the clouds. So hang on and go up to the clouds and beyond. Um, check yourself on occasion and say, is this reality? Because we, it's very difficult to tell what's real and what's imagined during this time. Um, so it's really important to kind of check in and say, wait, is this, am I, am I, is that a real, is that reality or am I imagining that? And also this is a great time for creative writing, anything creative, you know, visual arts, anything you put your mind to that's creative, um, will take off. It's a visionary energy and wondrous things can come to light during this 
uh, time during this transit. Now, uh, Thursday, November the 28th, is Thanksgiving Day here in North America. So happy Thanksgiving to all those who are celebrating it. And, um, and, and more power to you, the ones that are protesting it. <laughs> Uh, Mercury is trying to Neptune on Thanksgiving Day. So it's a beautiful creative energy. It's a lovely time to create uh, an ex you know, a lovely nurturing environment for family and fr for a family and friends gathering if you are doing a Thanksgiving dinner. Um, a chance to express yourself in a compassionate and almost poetic way. Neptune is at the same time, next tune, Neptune is in a sextile with Saturn, which is a lovely energy, and that gives structure um, to Neptune, and it really helps you turn your thoughts and ideas into practice. You know, it gives you the force to manifest your wishes and dreams. Um, and later that day, Venus trines Uranus. So this is more of that surprising Uranian energy, right? It's like breaking free. It can be rebellious. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, surprise encounters can happen. And, and it's like you want to express freedom within your relationships. It's breaking through of restrictions or blocks that you've had in relationships. Um, this energy can breathe new life into a dull or challenging relationship. It'll shake things up, you know. Um, and look, it's also one of those times that you could get a new look, like a new haircut, completely different from what you've had before that's kind of shocking to other people, or a makeover. Um, <clears throat> you know, a, a real far departure from your current style kind of thing. So guys, this week promises to be an exciting week full of surprises and forward motion. Have a wonderful week. And without further ado, let's go to your tarot card reading, shall we? Hello, Libra, and welcome to your reading, the tarot card section of your reading for November the 25th through no uh, December the 1st. Oof. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Libra for this coming week, November the 25th through December the 1st? May these cards be filled with love, blessings, and compassion. Three cards for Libra, please. There's one. Two more cards. Well, there you go. Gosh, that was really fast, darling. You have, ah, oh, and there, oh, wow. There is definitely crossover. I was, uh, I was um, shuffling these cards before I got on screen. Um, but this is very interesting, Libra. Check out your sun, moon, and rising. Okay. Um, these are clarifying cards for Libra for the week of November 25th through December 1st. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Libra through these clarifying cards? May they be filled with love, blessings, and compassion. Please clarify. There we are. Wow. Please clarify. And please clarify. There you go. Okay. Well, Libra. Challenging times are ahead. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay. These... The first card out is the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Then you have the Five of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. And you have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Three of Swords. It's okay. okay, so the Ten of Swords. This is like... <sighs> You've really been through some difficult times, and this is like, look, he's lying on the ground. He's been stabbed ten times in the back. 
It's betrayal. I see betrayal in your cards this week. Somebody's, I think it's kind of going to come out of left field. This is the thing. You've got, look, you've got the Seven of Swords clarifying it. Somebody's, you, this may have already happened, um, but it, 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 it it's wounding. You're wounded. It's almost like you've hit rock bottom with this, you know. It's really um, a challenging um, aspect. It's very uh, painful. And the thing is, is somebody is definitely... Um, working behind the scenes you may know this person you may not it could be a frenemy it could be you know I always think when this card comes up I always think of that uh, this card particular I always think of that song you know they smile in your face the backstabbers backstabbers Dong. um it's the OJs I think yeah um so yeah not a great feeling at all. The thing is about the Ten of Swords, is tens are endings and beginnings, right? So this, when this comes in a, a, into a reading, I always think of it as like, this is over. This is kind of in the past. You, look, you have been betrayed and it does hurt. And so this person coming in and perhaps kind of, undermining you at work, you know, um, saying things that, uh, you know, maybe about your style of work or your style of management, if you're a manager, something, somebody is, um, almost, it's almost like an attack on your reputation, if you will. Um, but I always feel that this is like, this is, Ten, one and zero is one, right? Adds up to one. So it's a new beginning. You have this opportunity to go forward and I'm going to um, go forward myself so that you can see this. Now you have the five of um, ones. So there is something going on at work and it's something that you have to kind of address when this card comes up it's saying address it go in there be creative see what's happening it could be gossip it, you know it might not be a huge big betrayal that's going on but there's it's something that you need to kind of go in not in a dogmatic way you did this and you said that definitely not like that it's going in and allowing everyone to be heard it's like, okay, so I'm hearing this, it's come, you know, this, this has come back to me and I just want to know, um, what you feel about it. What, what are your real thoughts and what's going on? Tell me what is happening for you. How has this impacted you? Whatever it is. And it's almost like, you know, uh, being humble. It's going in and being humble. And it's like, how can we fix this? We. Be a team player with this. Let everyone feel that their voice has been heard, you know. Um, facilitate everybody's voice in this situation. This, this will be really rewarding because either you will um, be recognized from the powers that be for, for being, um, you know, for resolving a conflict in the workplace or, you know, uh, problem solving. It can be that. Um, and then you can have this really um, incredible deeper um, connection with your team, you know, or the people at work or whatever's, wh whoever this is that's, you know, that's going on for you, um, that's happening for you, Libra in the background. Now, under the five of ones, you have the seven of pentacles. So this is saying to you, um, what is all the effort and the time and the uh, energy that you put into this job or this project or whatever it is, have you got enough back from it? Are you getting enough back from it? Are you reinvesting in it? I'm feeling that dealing with this is like a reinvestment of uh 
it's it's investing in your in in this in this team in these relationships you know in whatever's happening here it's an investment it's really going to change things for you going forward for the better and look you have the the um the uh, nine of cups and the nine of cups is celebration it's like you're going to reach a place of contentment um and i believe that you're going to get there because of this betrayal um there you know you've you've encountered this pain is look all this is painful but this is about dealing with it you know you've got to kind of address it. You've got to address it and let it go once and for all. It's about letting it go so that you can be, so that you are able to, you know, partake in conflict resolution, that you're not going to feel that everyone's, you know, behind your back stabbing you. It's like you've got to kind of build that trust again. You're at a place where um, you've been hurt. You know, a lot of us have. We've we've felt this pain. We've felt this betrayal. You know, we've we've encountered these kind of people in our lives at some point, but we can't um, we can't let those experiences define us. We need to move forward um, with freedom. We need to release ourselves from this pain. And, and not judge our lives because, you know, we have this opportunity to, for all our wishes and dreams to come true. You know, we can invest. It's like when we let this pain go, we can invest in our relationships. We can invest going forward. We're not going to, you're going to feel almost like a nirvana when you handle this. It's the, you know, you're going to feel this nirvana when you handle this. When you address things, don't let things fester in the dark and grow because, you know, in the darkness, they can grow. They, they get kind of, you know, they get these tentacles coming out in the darkness. Let them come out into the light. Address them. Things are never that bad and you'll feel fulfilled. Look, all your wishes and dreams come true. Your relationships will grow because of it. We'll get a deep, a deep um, understanding of each other and a connection that you haven't that you couldn't have if you didn't let go of this betrayal and pain and the way to let go of it is to take it in feel it take it into your heart let it resonate with you connect the dots see where it really comes from the very first time you're betrayed why do you choose these people in your life. How can you do this differently? You can address things before they get too big. That's what you can do. You can nip it in the bud, darling. Invest in your relationships in your life. Reinvest. And then you'll have Nirvana. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, family, neighbors, co-workers, social media if you can, comment. I answer and respond to every comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah. I love you all and I'll see you next week. Bye.